All right, finally, let's get you some updates from the commodity space. Manisha Gupta is joining us this morning. Hey, Manisha, good morning. Morning, Sonal. Thank you for that. Well, we have started on a bearish note for many of these commodities as markets see the U.S. dollar index rebounding. There also is a aggressive rate hike that we've seen from Bank of England. Actually, when you look at the U.S. Fed, ECB and Bank of England, we've seen 75 basis point of a rate hike coming in from all of them. The crude oil prices have slipped 2% overnight. They're headed for a weekly decline. Markets also are looking at uh, China suggesting that the COVID cases surge is uh, highest since the month of August. And China also dismissed speculation on scaling back on COVID restrictions. That seems to be weighing on not just on crude oil prices, but on metals as well. You have seen the rubber prices continue to decline, which are now trading at the lowest since July 2020, with 20% of a decline in this year. Rubber prices have continued to be on the weaker side as well. Weak demand from automakers locked down in 28 cities in China only makes matters worse. All right, so bearish cues from the commodity markets. Manisha, thank you so much for joining us. Well, uh, we don't know what that would mean for the markets because generally Asian markets are quite mixed this morning. This despite the weak handover that we got from the Wall Street. We have Hang Seng, which is reeling under a lot of pressure. Uh, sorry, which is doing really well. It's Taiwanese index, which is reeling under some pressure. Hang Seng has surged in how it's up 3.6% in trade. That's a 550-point uptick. When we started the show, it was up around 2.5%. So bullish cues coming in there. SJX Nifty is... Uh, recovering from the lows as well. It is in the green right now. Up 10 odd points. So let's see whether that happens for our own markets or not. For now, SJX Nifty in the green, but absolutely flat as well. We'll take your leave on this edition of Power Breakfast. Stay tuned. Bazaar Morning Call comes up next.